A local 10 investigation tonight. The opioid epidemic has taken hundreds of thousands of lives over the past few decades, and the American Medical Association says it's only getting worse. And the reason they say is fentanyl. The deadly drug is being found on the street here in South Florida, but maybe not in the way you'd expect. And that's why one father spoke to local 10's Janine Stanwood in hopes his story of loss can prevent another tragedy. She was uh, a very good student. Um, she really liked uh, drawing and she liked art. Uh, she was really popular in high school. Frank Hernandez says his daughter Melissa was vibrant and creative. She was a very good soul. But a day in late September would change everything. And that night I spoke to her like around 8, 30 p.m. and she told me um, that she was doing fine. She was I'm going to eat some dinner. He messaged with Melissa on WhatsApp, asking her to be in touch. And she just put me, OK, I will. I, I love you. I love you. And uh. the next morning, he thought Melissa was at the door. Instead, it was Hollywood police later telling Hernandez his daughter was dead. I'm sorry, but your daughter passed away. Documents show Melissa had what looked like Xanax, a common prescription in her backpack. But the medical examiner's report says the 21 year old died from an accidental overdose of fentanyl, a synthetic opioid. This is dangerous. I would say the majority of the pills that someone is getting, not from their doctor, not from a pharmacy, the pills that they're getting on the street will contain fentanyl. This is the special agent in charge of the Miami field office of the Drug Enforcement Administration. She tells us most drugs sold on the street meant to look like common prescriptions are actually fakes and made with fentanyl, a cheap synthetic that gives a potent high and kills. These fake pills, four out of 10 of them contain a lethal dose. People are getting addicted to them and seeking them out. And it's very um, lucrative for these drug traffickers. In the U.S. in 2021, agents seized 20 million fake pills, often laced with fentanyl. And in the most recent report from the Florida Medical Examiner's Commission, Broward County led the state in the number of fentanyl deaths. So where do these fakes come from? The DEA says the chemicals originate in China and India. They're shipped into Mexico where they're pressed into pills and smuggled across the U.S. border. What do these counterfeit pills look like? Many of them are pressed to look exactly like legitimate prescriptions. So Xanax, Adderall, Oxycodone, those are the big ones that we see that they're being pressed into. Hernandez tells us Melissa had some anxiety and depression like many young people and was legitimately prescribed Xanax at one point. And then they, they didn't prescribe her any, anymore and then she started to buy it out of the streets. <sighs> she was going, getting her, her life on track since she, she broke up with, with her boyfriend and then I guess that night she just felt some anxiety. She called this guy and gave her a fake pill that kill her. Hollywood detectives won't say much about Melissa Hernandez's case other than it's a death investigation that they're actively working. And while law enforcement won't go into detail about how they're busting drug traffickers, the DEA believes even low-level dealers know they're doling out deadly pills. Knowing the dangers of using counterfeit prescription pills can help. They launched an awareness campaign to help families, even uncovering common emoji combinations like chocolate bars and pills that are sometimes code for drugs. Pay attention to what's going on and understand that one pill can kill. I would have talked to my daughter right away. I would have said, hey, please, you know, don't buy anything on the street. This can kill you. It took her life. In Hollywood, Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Mm.